Hi and welcome. My name is Johnny Fragan. I'm a personal coach. What I want to talk to you today is about what women really want. Yes, what women really want. This may surprise many of you, but what I'm about to tell you is the truth. Now, contrary to proper belief that a woman are only attracted to money, this is not true. Although some women over the age of 30 may put more emphasis on money and security, but in most cases, most women are interested in value. And here are the attributes of value. Confidence, body language, proper structure, walking, certainty, strong frame, especially emotionally, smiling, funny, and sense of humor, dressing well, smelling well, well-groomed, pre-approval of other women, social circle, what is it, acceptable, intelligent, good dancer, money provider, protector of loved ones, leader of men, goal orientated, physically fit. Are you, as a man, easily manipulated by women? Women despise that. Listening and eye contact, lifestyle, successful risk taker, spontaneous, has passion in his life, he loves himself, although he's not arrogant, has present, lives in the presence when he is with other people and his woman, willpower and not giving up, dominance as a man, comfortable talking about sex, laughs at oneself, listening and has empathy, knowing where and when to put a boundary to what is allowed and permitted and what is not, especially by women. Knows when a woman tests him and as a man he knows how to brush off these tests off. Do you as a man have an identity? What is it? Emotional strength controls his emotions, is calm under pressure and is non-needy, generous and thoughtful and not being stingy, saying no from time to time. I'll bring you a quote here from Ross Jeffries they wrote nearly 30 years ago. This goes against to anything we've learned, social conditioning, everything we've been taught in school society, supposedly 50-50. Now I didn't come up with this statement, but this is the truth and correct. Anybody that's watching this video, now, if you were a woman, would you want a weak man? I don't think so. And here's the statement. Here's the magic word that brings you lots of women. The magic word is no. That's right, no. The same word that will keep your puppy from wetting the carpet will also keep your woman from shitting on you. You must say that to women from time to time. And self-respect, my friend, is mostly a matter of what you say no to. It's a boundary set up by what is permitted, tolerated or allowed. When a woman senses it in you, she knows she found something she instinctively wanted since she realized she is a female, a man she could never hope to control. This goes against everything we've been taught, all of us. You must say no to a woman from time to time, not all the time. Don't be a dictator, but you have to have balance. If you don't, she will walk all over you. I can guarantee that this information that you just heard now is correct. I challenge anybody out there to prove to me what I just said is wrong. If you follow my points, point by point, of the value system that I mentioned now, what women are after value, your love life, relationships with other people, and your self-respect will improve drastically over time. If you look back at any failure you've had in your relationships in the past because you didn't say no from time to time to a woman or you were just needy or you just broken a couple of rules that we just mentioned here. Why am I here talking to you? Who gave me the right to speak to you? 
because I made every mistake in the book. And this is how I come up with the value system. The difference between me and other men. I wrote down all my mistakes. I took notes of the things I made on mistakes. And therefore, I come to the conclusion with the value system that I presented to you just now. It's okay to make mistakes. But let's learn from them and get what we really, really want. Now, women are not really attracted to men. There is a vague idea of what a man is physically, and some are better than others physically speaking. But purely the physical appearance of a man is not as important unless he's horribly ugly or outrageously attractive. Women are attracted to status, value, pre-approval, money, how much a man smiles, laughs, how many friends and resources as a man he has. Has this man got a full life? How many cool and exciting and prestigious things he is doing or he's connected to? They are interested in how other people view and perceive him. How many people want to be around him? How other people interact with him? And whatever their interactions convey that he's special and amazing as a man. They want him to be extremely outgoing and aggressive. They want him to demonstrate his status and value over people by dominating them in non-virus violent ways. A woman's attraction to a man is a function of her jealousy and the thought of another woman having that man. She doesn't care he, who he is actually, exactly, or how he looks physically. She only cares about value of the life he has constructed around him. Now, as men, we don't have to have all these attributes. But the more of these points that I mentioned in the value system, the more attractive you will become to a woman. That's more or less what I wanted to talk to you today, what women really want. I highly advise you to follow step by step because I've worked on this. This is my life work. And I challenge again, like I said before, anybody to prove to me that I'm wrong. I want to thank all the people that helped me put this clip together, especially Andrew and Taisy that support me again and again. Thank you very much. If you like my videos, please like my videos and give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for great contacts and interesting videos coming up on all life issues. If you have any questions whatsoever on how and what to do in any situation, contact me. Or if you need any help, in any area of your life, do not hesitate to contact me. Your information will remain confidential. The only way you can make progress in life is if we take the first step. step. Take the first step today and contact me on Y-O-N-I underscore I-F-E-R G for George A-N at Hotmail.com Thank you very much for listening to me. As always, I'm your friend, Johnny Forget. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.